1300 Pakistan Standard Time Assalamu alaikum this is Radio Pakistan the news read by Ali Ahmad First the headlines A meeting of federal cabinet is underway in Islamabad with Prime Minister in the chair discussing overall political and economic situation of the country At United Nations consultations have begun on Pakistan's initiative for global debt relief. Seven soldiers have embraced martyrdom in two separate terrorist attacks in Balochistan. Pakistan has urged the world community to recognize the explosive environment created by India through its increasing military adventurism along line of control. And now the news in detail. A meeting of federal cabinet is underway in Islamabad with Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair. It is discussing overall political and economic situation of the country. The meeting will also review the COVID-19 situation, especially in the wake of ease of restrictions. Prime Minister Imran Khan says government will contribute 4 rupees to every rupee donated in COVID relief fund. In a tweet today he said the relief fund has been fixed for the deserving people who have been laid off due to the lockdown. The prime minister said a SARS data and transparency rules will apply on the payments to be made to the laborers. At the United Nations consultations have begun on Prime Minister Imran Khan's initiative for global debt relief. Ambassadors from over 22 countries from all regions held a first round of consultations on the global initiative for debt relief. At their virtual meeting in New York, senior officials of United Nations International Monetary Fund, World Bank and United Nations Conference on Trade and Development also participated in the meeting, chaired by Pakistan's United Nations Ambassador Munir Akram. In his opening remarks read out by Munir Akram, Foreign Minister Shamim Mutqureshi stressed the need for addressing the debt distress of many developing countries which has the potential to become a debt crisis. He hoped the informal consultations would evolve agreement on some meaningful measures and practical actions. Welcoming Imran Khan's initiative, President of the United Nations General Assembly, Tijani Mohammad Bande called for moving quickly on debt and concessional finance to support the most vulnerable people around the world. The nationwide tally of coronavirus cases has soared to 43,966 with 1,841 new cases reported during the last 24 hours. Overall, 15,976 cases have so far been detected in Punjab, 17,241 in Sindh, 6,230 in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, 2,820 in Balochistan, 550 in Gilgit, Baltistan. 1034 in Islamabad 115 in Azad Kashmir a total of 12489 patients have so far recovered from the virus whilst their death toll stands at 939 with 36 new deaths reported seven soldiers have embraced martyrdom in two separate terrorist incidents in Balochistan according to ISPR six soldiers including a junior commissioned officer and a civilian driver embraced martyrdom in an IED attack on FC vehicle in Peer Gaib and much late last night in another incident a sepoy in Dadali embraced martyrdom u- during exchange of fire with terrorists near Mont area in Kech Pakistan has urged the world community to recognize the explosive environment created by Indian government in South Asia through its increasing military adventurism along the line of control The call was made by Pakistan's ambassador to the United Nations Asad Majid Khan in an article published in the Washington Times. The ambassador also drew the world community's attention towards the continuing repression in occupied Kashmir as well as targeting of Muslims in India. He warned that India could start another confrontation with Pakistan. Asad Majid said, "This is not the time for warmongering as Pakistan, India and people of Kashmir are facing a common threat." of coronavirus he said at a time when other countries are facilitating their free flow exchange and sharing of information to fight the pandemic india has imprisoned kashmiris in an information black hole 
in occupied Kashmir, India continues to kill, harass, and intimidate Kashmiris in the name of coordinated search operations. According to Kashmir Media Service, Indian troops killed 12 Kashmiris and arrested 64 others during 287 coordinated search operations over the past 18 days. It said India has converted the occupied valley into the world's largest prison where people are not safe even their houses. Meanwhile, three Indian troops were injured in a gunfight with Mujahideen in Shirinagar early this morning. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.jv.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan news official.